Hi, my name is Adrienne Hicks and I am in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I am so excited to share the Tower Gardens with you and your family. Hi, my name is Sharon Hicks. I live in New York City and we are the Hicks Sisters. We will be sharing with you why we are so excited and our passion for Tower Gardens and how easy, simple, and fun it would be for you and your family to own one of your own. Adrian, what inspired you to want to grow your own food? Well, Sharon, you know growing up in the Bronx, the emphasis was not on fresh fruits and vegetables. Becoming a personal trainer, I learned that nutrition is just as, if not more important than just working out. Adrian, who would have thought living in a city in an apartment building, being able to grow my own fruits and vegetables, and being in the food industry for so many years, having my food growing on the tower garden was the freshest vine ripened fruits and vegetables I've ever had. Take us back to when you found the tower gardens. Remember how excited I was when I first found the tower garden and then how excited I really was when I found that that you could grow your own fresh fruits and vegetables in your apartment in the Bronx. Yes, and you was telling me how I would be able to grow year round. And I was like, why is Adrian so excited for me? She knows I do not have a green thumb. <laughs> I have a clean thumb, but not a green thumb. So I was so excited because she was so excited, but now I know why we both were so excited for these amazing tower gardens. So Adrian, what are some of the things that you grow in your tower gardens? But first tell us a little bit about the tower gardens, exactly what is a tower garden? Yes, let me tell you what the tower garden is. The tower garden is a aeroponic growing system that allows you to grow 20 different fruits and vegetables on the same tower at the same time outdoors or indoors. Yes, and we all know the power of fruits and vegetables, so what better way than to grow your own? So the tower garden was perfect for me, living in an apartment, being able to have the LED grow lights so I can grow year round and the tower garden taking up very little space. It actually takes up the same space as this chair that I'm sitting in. The tower garden is growing right in my living room. So it's actually tower to table, vine ripened fruits and vegetables. I take them off the tower garden as I'm using them to prepare my meals. Yes, speaking of tower to table, let me show you what I'm growing on my indoor tower garden. Look at all of these amazing um, peppers. We've been coming up with all kinds of recipes because it's peppers all over this tower. I'm also growing kale, arugula, Swiss chard, all my herbs. It is just, just amazing. Um, in the summertime, my outdoor towers, I will grow the outdoor fruits and vegetables like watermelon, cucumbers, uh, what else um, do I have on there, zucchini, things like that. So it is just phenomenal. What are you growing on your tower? I'm growing a variety of different things that I like to eat. That's another thing exciting about the tower garden. You grow what you like to eat. And I just want to touch on when you said that you was growing different fruits and vegetables that you wouldn't normally grow. So that gave, the tower garden gives you the ability to experiment on different foods that you would not mm -hmm. normally even maybe see in your supermarket that's near you. You can experiment with different cultures of food. So that's amazing and exciting about the tower garden also. So for me, what I grow, I grow lots of kale. I grow lots of um, spinach. I grow... Um, different lettuces that I like to eat. I'm a salad person. I like to eat a lot of different salads. So the tower garden actually gives me the ability to do that. It gives me the ability to also 
share with my neighbors. They're not. You have any cilantro? You have any rosemary? And to be able to say, yes, come on in, like they did recently, came and almost cleaned my tackle garden out. But that's the fun of it. And with the children actually being able to put that seed in that little rock fiber, what we grow in, and to see it grow, they will actually eat. They will start eating what they grow. So it actually changed the kids also. One of um, a person, another person that has a towel garden, they said to me that how their child ran into the supermarket and when they was walking around, they was like, this kale doesn't look like the kale on our towel garden. Our, the kale on our towel garden looks much better than this. So to have the children actually going into the produce section in the supermarket, that also is a win-win with having a towel garden because, you know, it's hard to get them into that section. They usually run into a whole nother section. So the towel garden also allows the kids to engage and have fun with growing with the towel garden also. Yes, I remember that conversation and how the kids were saying, asking why was the kale so green on the towel garden? It is, it's just an eye opener all the way around. It is just a true blessing. And we just love sharing the towel gardens and what better way to take control of your own food as much as you possibly can. And for me, Sharon, one of the biggest things working in Whole Foods, also um, when I was working in the body care and supplement department, I had a bird's eye view of the produce department. And you don't, just don't want people touching your food. You want people to touch your food as little as possible. And another thing I want to touch on, Sharon, is the sustainability of the tower gardens that um, in a pinch, you have your own food and the ability to grow your own food. Yes, and I also want to touch on being in the food industry and working in a restaurant in a catering hall and seeing so much food go into the garbage. And even in my own home, I would go to the supermarket. If I didn't use my produce within two days, it was truly going into the garbage. With the towel garden, I actually save. I keep money in my pocket and that's a plus. I, um, I can come in from work or just if I'm out for the day and I know I wanna get that healthy meal, instead of eating outside, I rush home to my tower garden and prepare my salad straight off the tower garden. That is so exciting to me, even to see the kids, like we all want a salad, you want a salad? We'll just make our different varieties, whether it's arugula, um, pop choy, Swiss chard, bib lettuce, mixed greens, a variety of different lettuces. So that was so exciting for me also. And I have to mention again, this, li this little space that it takes up. The yeah. towel garden is so um, affordable, is so, um, is beautiful looking too. To have inside your apartment is just a beautiful looking um, tower. And to be able, I'm looking at your tower gardens, Adrian, and they're absolutely beautiful. I see you have two in there. So, and I noticed that one is the flex and one is the home tower garden. So the home tower garden allows you to grow most of your herbs and lettuces mm -hmm. and, and greens and your flex tower garden goes indoors and outdoors. So yes. everything about the tower garden was so exciting for me. So the passion that I have for it, changing, um, changing the, having options and changing my health with it, being able to take control of part of my food was such a big thing for me. So I'm so happy you were searching on that, um, searching for a better way to take control, a better way to grow, a better way to take control of part of your food. Absolutely, and Sharon. And I just want to mention, piggyback on something that you said about, um, you know, food waste and stuff like that. 
some of these things that can grow on your towel garden, which I absolutely have. I've had um, my bell peppers four months. My kale, I've been eating off my kale four months. So when you look at things like that, you're right because there's no way in the world I could buy kale from the supermarket or bell peppers and have them for four months in my refrigerator. You wouldn't even want to open up the refrigerator to throw the stuff out after, you know, a week in your refrigerator. You like throw the whole refrigerator out of the window. So yeah, absolutely. It's a game and and I remember that was one of your desires to grow, to start even searching for a better way to grow, to, to know that you had to take part, take control of part of your food. I remember I was wondering, what, why did you want to go? Why was you looking for a tower garden? Why was you on the internet searching for a better way to take control of your produce? Well, I really was because, like I said, nutrition is so important. And then working in a, you know, a, a market like Whole Foods and watching people all over <laughs> your food. And, you, you know, growing is just so much better. It's our right to grow. And um, it's something that if you can, that you really need to. The food is vine ripens, it's fresher, it's cleaner. And I'm going to just end with this. I am so happy that I was searching the way I was and going through everything that I was from container gardening, hay bale gardening, and, you know, a hydroponic system, like I said, that cost me four times more than this tower garden. And I was only able to grow in width. So it took up my whole patio because I don't have land. And with the tower gardens, the tower gardens grow up. That base is the same size as this chair that I'm growing on, that I'm sitting on. This tower garden is even smaller than that. So I'm just going to end with this. I am so glad and blessed that I did find it and that um, I found it for me and I found it for so many others. And it is a game changer. Yes. And I just want to say that um, give yourself options. Give yourself choices. Find better ways to take care of you and your family. The Tower Garden, research like we did. Exactly. Research, take exactly. a look at the Tower Garden, find out more about the Tower Gardens because it can be the perfect fit for you and your family. Yes, and healthy growing. Healthy growing. <laughs>